The plant-derived alkaloid PB100 is a selective anti-cancer agent. It is active on cancer cells, but has no effect on normal cells. By normal, we mean here non-malignant. The following experiment demonstrates that PB100 rapidly enters tumor cells and accumulates in their nucleus, especially in the nucleoli, but it does not even enter normal cells. We shall see the effect of PB100 in vitro on two malignant human cell lines and on their normal counterparts. The U251 cell line is derived from a human chemotherapy resistant glioblastoma, a highly malignant brain tumor. Normal MPF astrocytes are typically star-shaped. The G361 cell line is derived from a human malignant melanoma. CCD 974 SK cells are normal human fibroblasts. Doubling time for all these cells is 48 hours. As the experiment only lasts 24 hours, very few dividing cells are yet present. We shall not show any among normal cells, and cancer cells will be destroyed by PB100. The cells by themselves are in no way fluorescent under ultraviolet radiation. They can only be seen using visible light. In contrast, the path of PB100 may be easily followed because of its yellow color under visible light and blue natural fluorescence under UV. We shall now add PB100 at a concentration of 1 milligram per milliliter to a glioblastoma cell culture. Changes observed using the normal low doses occur more rapidly and become more striking using this very high dose. Morphological changes occur in cells within minutes. Blisters appear along the cytoplasmic membrane and the cytoplasm swells. Under visible light, the characteristic yellow color of PB100 may be seen traveling across the cytoplasm, which becomes less homogeneous. After 30 minutes contact with the anti-cancer agent, nuclei of some cells are already yellowish in places, and nucleoli are stained pale gold, showing where PB100 concentrates. Cytoplasm is very slightly stained, but its organelles remain colorless. Cytoplasmic membrane blisters break open. Granulations appear in the cytoplasm. A pale gold halo progressively forms around the nuclear membrane, a sign of PB100 localization. Under 270 to 380 nanometer ultraviolet radiation, nuclei exhibit a blue fluorescence, especially bright in the nucleoli, corresponding to PB100 fluorescence. Cytoplasm staining less contains less PB100. In the presence of the same 1 milligram per milliliter concentration of PB100, normal astrocytes undergo no morphological change. A yellow cloud of anti-cancer agent simply underlines external cell contours and it does not enter the cell. Under ultraviolet radiation, astrocyte contents are in no way fluorescent. In human melanoma cells, the same morphological changes and staining as in glioblastoma cells become apparent. In addition, the nuclear membrane becomes thicker. PB100 has no effect on normal fibroblasts. It does not enter them. Here we see once more glioblastoma cells 19 hours after we started the experiment. The color of PB100 increasingly bright is now orange, while fluorescence decreases. Glioblastoma cell destruction continues. Cytoplasm falls to pieces. The nuclear membrane becomes yellow. Still, no changes have occurred in normal astrocytes. Following 24 hours in the presence of PB100, cancer cells have been destroyed. Their cytoplasmic membrane has disappeared and cytoplasm has disintegrated. Under visible light, nuclei and nucleoli are orange. The nuclear membrane is torn in places. Under UV light, the blue fluorescence of PB100 has clearly decreased, but it remains concentrated in the nuclei. As this experiment demonstrates, PB100 selectively destroyed cancer cells without affecting normal cells.